So welcome, we are recording now and um, you can have your video on or off, um, it's up to you, and, but your sound is off. So welcome to this evening and the theme is at the moment, this is something I saw in somebody's sweatshirt, aeroplane, hope is a superpower. And I never forgot it, you know, I, I, I drew this a year ago. It feels so relevant now and what we're going through, we just have to be hopeful. We know that this, this, the COVID will end at some point. We know that life will change and in a completely different way. Oh, let me see if I've muted. I think I haven't. Uh, second. Okay, mute. Yeah, so, so you're all muted. So how, you know, life is changing and will never be the same again, probably after this whole COVID and also what's going on in the States with the, um, the, the riots and everything and in the UK and everywhere, you know, to do with justice for, you know, treating everybody fairly in the same way. But in Qigong, we tend to, work on ourselves in order to rebalance the energy system and also to, um, to, to transform emotions because things like anger, depression, sadness, all these things, we, we are not the emotion. You know, we, we have the emotion, we get it. It's like I heard somebody say, you know, you, you get a cold, you are not the cold. So you are not anger, you get anger and you can get rid of it. And in Qigong terms, you can transform emotions quite efficiently and quite, um, um, quite beautifully. So they become something more constructive. So just for example, kidneys relate to fear, the emotion of fear. So when we do exercises to nourish the kidneys, we can dissolve the fear without going into the fear. You don't have to go into the emotion, but the emotions tend to transform through the practice. So this is what we're gonna do. Firstly, we need to release from the body because often not just emotions, energy gets blocked and stuck. So we wanna just do some shaking and clearing out of the body and off the body. And often you can feel where in the body the energy is a bit heavy, stuck. So you just shake off, off the, arms off the fingers like shaking water off the fingers and then also the space between the fingers clearing this space shake off and the fingers might feel a bit heavy sometimes a bit painful quite normal if we work on computers or you know mobile phones or just life in general um, sometimes the energy doesn't quite reach reach the extremities it gets stuck somewhere like the elbow or the shoulder so you just shake the whole joint, the arms, the leg, shake the leg, empty the leg up to the hip, like shaking water off the toes. Shoulders, hips. So anywhere that feels a bit heavy, stuck, you just want to shake it down to earth. The earth is the heavy element, we call it yin element. So the heaviness is attracted down to earth. The earth is asking us to drop everything down. Illness, emotion, just drop it into the earth. Drop it down and then also more connected with the heavenly energy which is always coming down. But often if the body's a bit blocked, this energy can't reach through. So in Qigong, we're getting the energy flowing through through the body, around the body, and you'll sense this through the session. So de this part is kind of de-stressing and releasing. Fingers, space between the fingers. And if anybody has problems like with the knuckles, with the hands, the fingers relate to all the internal organs. So you want to keep the fingers always flexible and loose and the space between the fingers clear. 
So if you have problems with the knuckles, for example, you can put one hand inside the other, squeeze it like infusing the hand with warmth or energy. It's like melting one hand inside the other. This benefits the spine, the whole body, and you keep the fingers soft and the hands soft. Things like arthritis or you know these things, often just the hands becoming rigid, maybe lack of use or overuse. So we try and keep everything soft, supple, and the knuckles relate also to the spine. So you can treat, it's like you can treat the body through the hands, very useful. And if you're sitting a lot during the day, you can do this sitting down, you just shake off and squeeze and clear the space. Do quite a lot of this, you'll be treating the body as well. Standing is the feet parallel into the earth, knees softly bent. Often when we stand, not quite aligned. So actually when you st stand with the feet parallel, it sometimes feels a bit uncomfortable because it's actually readjusting the posture. So this is the standing position. Then some gentle slapping. Slapping is strengthening practice. We start on the head, back of the neck, shoulders, lower back, hips, legs bend down, feet come up again, back of the head, back of the neck, shoulders, lower back, a bit harder here, hips, this is strengthening, especially these bigger joints that tend to get a bit overused or underused often. Knees outside of the legs. Keep the head up if you can. It's more strengthening. Coming up one more time. Head, back of the head, back of the neck, shoulders. Coming up, push down. So in martial arts, they do a lot of slapping. You can feel the body kind of buzzing feeling. It's like waking up the body. So if we're not so mobile, very good to just slap the different parts of the body to keep the body awake, alive, and energized. Close one hand, go to the opposite shoulder. Shoulders carry also a lot of tension and the arms, so just slapping. Notice if you drop the arm completely, as you slap it, the strength coming in, the arm comes up. Close the fingers, strength into the arm. Drop the arm, slapping, strength into the arm. So you notice the strengthening part. And any area that's weak you're aware of, just do more slapping. Have a pause, sense the effect body feels quite warm, also like a bit buzzy, woken up. We've woken up the physical aspect, opening up the body more. Then cleansing part, close the fingers like this. It's like cleansing the energy from the front to the back of the head, back of the neck. Shoulders come to the front, lower back. Hips stay close, legs, down to the feet, heels, shake off. It's like you're collecting the dust off the body. Any tension often just trapped, you're just collecting everything, cleaning, purifying. This is the purifying aspect. As if you're taking a layer off the body each time, like peeling an onion. In the, in the middle, the onion is clearer. Same with the body. We take off the, the muddy feeling, the dusty feeling, close the fingers, cleaning. Shake off. <clears throat> then a bit more for the arms. We mentioned shoulders to the hands, cleaning off. Off the back of the fingers, cleaning off. 
And this is useful, the back of the hands for the whole body. If you feel any tension somewhere, you just clean off lower back, behind the knees. You just clean off the body energetically. It's like you're clearing you know, your aura, cleaning like this. Stand for a moment. <coughs> So we've done some shaking, slapping, rubbing, cleansing. Standing is just standing on the earth, the feet rooted into the earth, the knees softly bent, so no pressure on the lower back. You can open the hands, look up, come up a little bit, come down the back and rest the hands at the front. Don't hold them, just rest them here. Hands joining the feet. Just close the eyes a few moments. You close the eyes, notice the feet quite heavy into the earth, the weight of the body dropping through the feet into the earth. And follow mentally down to the center of the earth, the energy reaching the center, then it comes back to the body. So we're releasing any heavy feeling, stuck feeling, and absorbing from the earth. So this is quite strengthening. Standing like this, or sitting, quite strengthening with the feet deeply into the earth. Breathing out from the mouth, in through the nose. Breathing out is like breathing the stuffy air out. Breathing in through the nose, all the fresh air, oxygen, light, breathed in. Mentally go to the center of the earth, through the feet. Just check the whole body is included in the standing. You feel the feet, very large, heavy, Knees softly bent, head slightly floated up. The spine extends up a little bit, down a little bit. The tailbone down to earth, head up to heaven. So the body already becoming more insubstantial, more open. Reach the center of the earth, the energy comes back. One more time, feet opening to the earth, reach the center, the energy comes back. When the energy reaches the extremity, always has to return. That's a principle, Taoist principle. Even the scientists, the Big Bang theory, same principle. The universe expands, then contracts. Contracts, expands. Energy back to the body, some general shaking in the legs, hips, arms, hands, shake off. Anything built up, sometimes even through standing, you notice some parts may be blocked. So standing is beginning to strengthen the body, calm the mind, release some of these emotions out and down. Self-healing form will do a little